Hey guys, we are at Fleetwood Homes in Clanton, Alabama. We're taking a look at, they have a small single wide and I just wanted to do a, a video of this one. We're, we're trying to find some good tiny homes today so we're traveling a little bit and, and a lot of these folks want us to make appointments and a couple of them are really high quality actual tiny homes, not mobile homes. Uh, so we're going to be making appointments later, maybe this week, maybe today, who knows. But I want to go through this one uh, and just record it for a few quick minutes. It's a Fleetwood brand. It's It's got the end entry here. It's just a sliding door. And if you remember one of the videos where I said, would you rather have a tiny home or a, a single wide? They had one similar that was made by by Clayton Homes and I'll talk about that as we go through but here's your front deck and it this one thing I don't I'm not particularly fond of is the wood deck now it's pressure treated wood that's fine but over the years these these decks will will start warping and drying up and, and, and longevity versus all the new trek decking type of stuff is not as good um any any deck i do from now on is is going to be made of the trek material as long as i can afford it <laughs> on a budget so as you walk in you've got your living room you've got the vinyl flooring this is your living room it opens up to your kitchen which is open basically and you've got Nice hood, range, farm style sink, double bowl with the pot filler, a dishwasher, which is always good. You don't always find those in tiny homes. Now this doesn't, I'm not gonna call this a tiny home. This is more of a small single wide. Uh, it's only a one bedroom, one bath. It's 16 by 48, and I, I did the math a minute ago, and I forgot the number, but it's like 750, 760, uh, I think it's 768 square feet. So it's not really at that 500 square foot threshold that you would say it's quote unquote a tiny house, but it's a tiny mobile home. And for the price, comparability, and what you want out of things, you may find that this is something that's, that's interesting, because tiny homes have gotten bourgeois or whatever you want to call it and the prices are going up 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 and it's getting harder and harder to find a tiny home builder that would just build something that's um, decent quality a step up from a mobile home and not terribly expensive and I know you can you can find those builders but they are few and far between um, this does not have sheetrock. It's got the panel type boards on the walls, white cabinets, stainless fridge, stainless sink, stainless microwave, but the oven and stovetop is, uh, kind of old school. It's black with a stainless handle, which, and the stainless, uh, backing on the controls but it's, it's burner type, which everyone's really moving towards the glass type, which some people prefer these old burner types. They're easy, easier to clean. <laughs> I'll tell you that, we've, we've had glass tops and they are a pain to clean um, when you get them a, a little bit of ground on them, especially if the weirdest thing, if you just are boiling water for pasta or something like that and the water boils over, that is the hardest, hardest to clean off of those glass tops. And these are a little bit easier to clean. You old timey folks like me, your mother used to take these out and wrap them in aluminum foil to keep them clean. And then she just removes the aluminum foil and voila, they're clean. And then just put some more on there. And these, these burners are cheap to replace. Standard sizes that they have, two of these and two of these and you just go find a burner somewhere, which I don't know. It might be a little bit harder nowadays to find those burners. 
But of course you got your laminate countertop, which that one looks like right here on the edge. It's already got a little chip. A um, couple of windows and a sliding door in the front. Like I say, that's your main entry. Nice big area though. And you can put your uh, big screen TV over there and arrange your furniture in such a way you'd have a walkway to the door. And maybe keep your sofa off the wall here a little bit so you have a walkway back here, which is what we did in our, our living room. We experiment with layouts. People, people tend to get into the trap of, let me push my sofa up against the wall. And you don't have to do that with furniture layout. My wife is really good at uh, doing, doing that type of stuff. Um, all pot lights or can lights, whatever you want to call them in here. A little small hallway. You'd have to you'd have to dupe up your dining room in here somewhere. Maybe up against this window or something. There's Hi. Tammy. Hey, what's the price? Sixty six nine. Sixty six nine. And they said that they will like once they take it to the lot and set it up, they will correct these problems. The manufacturer actually has a representative that comes back and corrects the problems. Yeah, there's a few so. problems we noticed. I mean, if you look right there around the the heat vent, there's a, a bubble, in, bubble the, in the linoleum. Little, um, little small hallway. Um, actually, it's wide, but it's not very long. Your back door is here. This is a nine panel rear door. Your heating uh, system is in there. This is your laundry room. It's not enclosed, but I think you could probably build a frame and enclose it if you wanted to. And this is a one bed, one bath. And the only thing I don't really see that's beneficial here is your, your bedroom's not like attached to your bath. And I understand that because you don't want guests traipsing through your, your bedroom to go to the bathroom, but it's, it is separate. Have a walk -in closet, but, um, but you can expect that in a more tiny home, right? Yeah, this is 760 some square feet. And here's your bathroom. It's, you know, functional. It's got your vanity. And again, let me, they've moved to the porcelain sinks which I like better than some of the plastic ones. Yeah. Um, yeah. Still a little chintzy on the cabinetry, but you know what? You can go to Lowe's and get that cabinetry really cheap, probably about $1,500 to redo the whole whole kitchen. And that's, and get you some granite, you know? that is a nice shower. I mean, that's a one piece, which helps you avoid leaks. And it's really wide. And it's, you know, it's, that about looks 48. like it's about four foot wide and about six foot long, so. It may be three foot wide, but... I think it's about 48 inch. Like they have 36, I think, uh, which is smaller than that. So that's gotta be like a 48 inch or something. This is at least a five foot. Oh, okay. Because if I lay down in here, yeah, I would say it's five foot. So I would say it's si inches? 60 inches. That's probably a 36 by 60 shower. Okay. And again, the can lights and your fan. Does have the uh, colonial style panel doors. Not the six panel, but the arched arched panel. Whatever you want to call those. I don't know the official name. Decent size master. And again, you've, or I don't want to say the word master, primary bedroom. Uh, but we did notice this when we came in. There is a flooring problem here where they transported the floor popped. The seam of the plywood popped and see what's happened there it's taking the linoleum with it there's a screen for the front door and not really a walk-in closet but it's a good size closet so that's this one 768 square feet what did you say the price was 66 66 nine. 66 nine. so you know and you already told them where we're at yeah yeah when it first came up and, and this is just one of the it's daystar homes and the phone number is right there 205-755-5594 and they have so many other if you see right here all of these are a list of um of different manufacturers they use and they even have they're even dealers for averycabincompany.com which is a tiny home builder 
Yeah. So um, they also carry tiny homes as well, but they don't have any on the lot right now. Yeah, no tiny homes here today. So, but this is a, one of the small 768 square feet. One thing we haven't talked about a lot on the channel, but I would like to do a cost analysis at one time, uh, price per square foot, because when you're buying regular homes, regular real estate, real property, you talk in terms of square foot price. And when you're talking about a 768 square foot home like this for 66,900, you are easily under 100 per square foot, I think, <laughs> if my math is correct. And I don't know if you showed the ceilings on this or not, but the ceilings actually are a knockdown ceiling, which is actually a really nice upgrade for, for just a low-end mobile home. Yeah, it's not a popcorn type ceiling, it's a knockdown. Yeah, that's nice. And that, like that term knockdown is where they, they typically put the mud on there and then they just took the take the blade and scrape it across and just knock it down that's why it's called knockdown and it, it's a lot of walls in um in places like florida um there's a lot of um homes like stucco builds inside they do knock down walls yeah for the walls and it's kind of neat yeah it's not too much texture it's just kind of the right amount and i'll take you outside and take you show you a quick look at the easier at to exterior right here yeah or popcorn. Yeah. Popcorn. yeah. But this front porch is really nice. It's nice to have the, uh, the vinyl clad uh, railings. Yeah. And, um, you know, they went with a wood uh, decking, but that's still nice. I like the look of a wood decking if you water seal it. Yeah, I talked about that earlier. It's the, you know, the drawback is eventually you either have to keep up with the water sealing and that, or you're going to have to be replacing boards. But wait, I found something that is interesting about this uh, particular home. Well, you would think that being a builder that's been built, building for quite a while, that they would know how to lay deck boards. But if you look over here, come over this way, you'll see there's rainbow patterns on the ends of each deck board and what this means is is the proper way to do it is the rainbow effect it looks like a rainbow and that's the way you need to keep it but if you if you look carefully look at here we've got rainbow upside down which is incorrect because it's so, going to bow in that direction yes it's going to bow so it'll leave trip hazards and it's already it's already a, a higher um elevation here than there because they turned this one the wrong way this and that one up. as well and so then, that this is something you can learn about wood this one's bowed correctly i mean laid correctly but it's already bowing here too because of the nailing paul and i have been flipping houses for years so we can tell you something about about building and we're thinking about building our own tiny home in the future and it's just, you're dealing with a different quality of wood too, especially when you get these cracks right in the middle of the board. Right. When you're nailing this way. Maybe it's number this way. two instead of uh, number one good grade, right? Well, I, it's maybe even be cool, but that's, you get cracks like that. But, you know, $66,000, right, right. what are you gonna do? You well, know? you can always take your boards off when you get it and, and flip them over. But that's sort of a, a, what color would you call that? Greenish tan? I don't know. That's got some green shade to it's, it. And shingle roof. It's almost like a country green. Country you know? green? Yeah. I don't know what, what the wording would be. You know, the bigger tiny home you can afford, you're getting more bang for the square footage price because the square footage price goes down. But you step into these mobile homes, which I, I admit are, are often less quality than most tiny home builds. Just depends on the manufacturer. Some are really high end. Yeah, but, but you get a lot more square footage bang for your buck. Right. So anyway, we're going to cut. you can upgrade it yourself if you have any kind of construction ability at all. You can upgrade yeah. or, or get some uh, a group of uh, drywallers to come in and do the drywall for you inside. You know? Yeah finish it out but uh we'll sh sh catch you on the next one all right guys and gals we are at 
Jayco Sales in Montgomery, Alabama. And we are in search of tiny homes, but we're not finding a lot. Um, find a lot of mobile home dealers. We haven't been able to secure any appointments yet with, with some of the tiny home dealers that want to uh, be showcased, but we're working on that. But I thought this lot was interesting. They're, they're really clear with the price and they just put the prices right out there. So we're gonna walk over and take a look at this one. This looks like it's gonna be a luxury single wide. Not tiny home category really, but to be honest with you, a lot of our viewers on our video about would you rather have a tiny home or a single wide, we're getting a lot of people that are interested in single wide. So I just thought I'd show you some of what's, what's available. They have a lot of Clayton models. Now Clayton owns um, like 95% of the mobile home manufacturers anyway, but they just keep other names. But we're going we're just going to take a look around and see what's Clayton, what's not Clayton brand, um, what's marketed as other brands by Clayton and so on and so forth. But first we're going to walk over and take a look at this this really nice one. It, if you can see that sign is $114,900. So it better be luxury. It looks really nice on the outside. So let's go inside and see. Well, we're up here at the mobile home. That, that's a good 50, 70 yard walk from the car um, or the ridge line, the mini beast. Um, the good news is my leg and back are feeling better. The I've been doing some stretching and also made a big change with the way I've been sleeping so um, maybe talk about that more after we get through this but this is uh tracks on this little porch three windows here a yeah, beautiful front door the lit well, I call that leaded glass look it's really nice This one's reduced from 1199. You first walk in your living area, you got a wood panel, three windows to the back, galley type kitchen. This is a uh, Formica countertop, laminate, whatever you want to call it. Nice little shelves, hood, upgraded hood system. Sink and stove, lots of counter space. A little mini sink over here. Soft closed drawers. Nice good size dining room, two windows, upgraded fixture. Got the knockdown ceilings, can lights everywhere. Big, big fridge, everything's stainless. Uh, except kind of the stove's got the front black panel and the black top course little pantry cabinet over there and these three windows are overlooking this large prep area or bar if you want and as most of them most of the homes we've seen the uh well you got more pantry space here uh as most homes we've seen though you your master is right off of your dining room and most of these single wides because it's on one end and then your other bedrooms are in the other other end. This your master or primary bedroom. I got to get out of the habit of saying master. They painted this a really nice uh, grayish green color. I don't know what Tammy kind of calls that a farm green. Two windows on each side. It's, sliding farmhouse door here. Um, now they've taken the doors down off of the shower, but you've got double vanity with the porcelain. Neat little light fixtures there. Toilet here, not enclosed in a throne room. And a nice large cabinet. Let's walk to the other end. All right, I'm- Single tilt or double tilt? I'm not sure. I'm picking up where I left off there. This is, uh, nice. they call it the Alabamian here. 
Uh, Franklin is the manufacturer, and they called it the Lakeside because it was one of their show homes. Uh, again, at Jaco or Jacko Sales, it's uh, there's what everything includes here, and we're just north of Montgomery, Alabama, again. And Tammy's back there checking out the master. Or, hey, I gotta quit saying that. The uh, primary bedroom. And you come through the hallway off of the living room. We're back on this side of the, the hall now. I'm gonna guess this is your utility for your furnace. Yeah, that's nice. That's really, really nice. We might have to just take a picture of it and try to match it for our house. Yeah. Here you've got uh, your rear door and no panes in that, which is nice. Doesn't have the grid, which I kind of like the open. You can actually, if you haven't done this, we've done this before. You can purchase grid systems for these windows. Whether you want a nine pane or a 15 pane, whatever you want. You can get decorative. You can or get a single like that. Or you can get a single and you can you have to be very careful, but you undo these screws. Some of your homes just have little pegs that go in there where you don't see the screws, but you undo all the screws. You have to take, really, you have to take the whole win window out. Um, it's, it's a sealed unit, but you have to take it out. And then you put the new one on and lift it all back in place and seal it up and screw these back on. But those are relatively inexpensive. I don't think we probably spent over Thirty forty dollars took half an hour's worth of work, but here's a panel box, two hundred amp. Everything is labeled. New codes nowadays in most areas require any new construction, or some of them even requiring it with resale. You have to have every every breaker labeled in some form or fashion. This is a really tiny little bedroom right here. It must be like a nine by nine. Um, yeah, it's not exactly square, so it's probably maybe ten by nine or ten by a nine by eight. This is it's on the floor plan in there, though. We'll look at it. He did say this bedroom bedroom was tiny. Yeah, this make good for an office for someone or something. You know, just or a little if office you just space. Just wanted a little bedroom just for your grandchildren. Yeah. You know, you can just put a set of bunk beds on this wall and be done and one of my pet peeves with these mobile homes again is laundry room not being closed mm -hmm. yeah because i mean it's really annoying if your laundry room is not separate and you're in there watching tv or and, and you have to run a load of laundry you're going to hear the, well, the washer and dryer here all the way on the other side of this um uh, this house too so yeah um it's fine if you you're going to have uh you know, like children right here in this bedroom over here. Mm -hmm. So they can take their clothes directly there and put it in the wash, you know. Yeah. Um, but if you're going to have your master way over there and it's just the two of you, and these extra rooms are just going to be a hobby room and a, you know, uh, yeah. a guest bedroom or something, then why? Why would you not want to have, you know, that close to your master closet so you could... Uh, so you could do your clothes and put them away at the same time instead of having to walk them around here and take them all the way back. But otherwise, it's yep. pretty, isn't it? It's we, very pretty. Very pretty. We've been through a lot of models today, and we we hadn't taped a lot of them because the floor plans are getting so similar. And, and we've seen a very similar floor plan to this before, but, but the thing they do is they put a bedroom at the end of the home here. And some models the bedroom goes from one side of the home all the way to the other. In other words, this closet wouldn't be here. This closet would be over there on that wall going in, in, in. So that makes this room rather large. But this one, they put the closet here, which is fine. But in my thinking, if I'm going to move into this home, I'm going to have the second bedroom for the one around the corner for the grandchildren or guests. This one is going to be my guitar, gu extraordinary. guitar extraordinaire room, and I would rather have it all the way across the house instead of the closet here. Right. But 
And this one's what, 114? Yeah, 114. Uh, a little pricey for a single wide, but wow. Uh, but it's got... It's, this is luxury vinyl. So this is an, way upgraded compared to the other flooring mm -hmm. that's in all the other places we've and seen. And they don't just stick a, you know, nine panel. They thought about this rear door because a lot of them... We were in a mobile home earlier. Everything in the front was like these cottage style two pane windows or something. And then the back door is nine panel. But this gives you the option of, of having a wide open rear door, rear window on it. Um, these are 15 panel or 15 panel lights, uh, what they call them in the window world, but it's a, you, know, you got 15 squares in the windows. But I think they're single. Uh... Single windows, single home or single I mean like they only tilt one time they don't tilt twice yeah. they don't, single the top home. doesn't tilt that's a really nice front door upgrade with that yeah, leaded glass nice. we've had that one that same door before haven't we yep exact same door and they put in really nice blinds instead of that one that we just um, looked at that was a uh, tiny single wide they actually put in the the real you know the heavy duty vinyl uh, wide plank blinds in lieu of the uh, the chintzy ones. Yeah. So it's hard to tell on this floor plan, but the, that smallest bedroom is like nine foot four, and the whole mobile home is fifteen six. So it takes up about half. So I'm going to say that this distance. From here to here is about eight, and this is nine foot six inches. So it's an eight by nine bedroom on that smallest one. But there's the floor plan. If you need to pause the video to read some of this, you're more than welcome to. It's 1,240 square feet. And it's a Franklin called the Lakeview by Franklin. Here at Jacko or Jaco, they call it the Alabamian. Of course, because we're in Alabama. All right. Alabama. But, I, you know, these shelves. I don't really like the fact that they're the rough-hewn wood. So when you go to... Uh, dust. Dust. It, the dust just sticks to rough-hewn wood. Yeah, it's not the you best. Know? We have a fireplace. It's beautiful. We have a fireplace in our home. It's practical. We have a fireplace in our home that's like that, and it, it collects the dust. Yeah, and may I ask uh, if anybody has any, any uh, suggestions as to how to clean the rough hewn wood um, better than what we do because we just leave like uh, pieces of the cloth all over it or something when we try to clean it. Yeah, you just let us know in the comments, please. <laughs> you don't want to clean this with like a, a paper towel that's got a little Windex on it or something. It just catches on all this stuff. You can see how my finger... Even the microfiber, it'll rip right off onto it. So. But I do, I, this industrial look with these pipes is, I, th I think that's cool. I've, I've wanted to do it. In, in some homes, but then I I was gonna do it. I forget what that project was I was gonna do it in, but I got to looking at the cost of pipe. By the time you, yeah. pipe's expensive. It, this is iron, that iron pipe. And man, it's it's uh, expensive. By the way, things. at first I thought this was fake, but this is totally real. Real town. And beautiful too. Yeah. Beautiful. But it's, it's a so nice one. You know, other than you know, if you're going to pay 114 you should get the uh, granite countertops or, uh, yeah. you know. But look, the, these are upgraded cabinets. Yeah, they're the slow With closed. the soft closed drawers. Mm -hmm. These are not your trailer cabinets. These are custom cabinetry. I don't want to say custom, but they're upgraded. Right. They're upgraded. But they yeah. Are. And you've got another they're just not trailer cabinets. On side. They're they're residential cabinets. And the good thing about this galley kitchen, you know, a lot of people don't like galley kitchens. But a, a thing about this galley kitchen is this is more than a two butt kitchen. Yeah, it is. Because there is there is plenty of room between. And then you've got yeah. arm spans length room here. Yeah, and you're not going to a three lane traffic pattern with with yeah the, yeah. A this this would be here, a, a I, you know when I first walked in the first thing I thought was when we have Thanksgiving a buffet area. yeah well that but when we have Thanksgiving and we're all, we're always doing the cooking and and stuff before we eat you know prepping warming up food now we're in a different situation than when all the kids were at home but now the kids bring food over 
they get to the house, we have to warm it up, we have to get, we're still cooking and then they're, they bring stuff to cook while they're there. This would be a great kitchen for that. You have one or two people over here working, one or two people over here working, somebody over, over at this area working, somebody over there work. You have four or five people in here prepping food. And then when you got everything ready, right here, you can just lay out your buffet. Just noticed, and I don't know if you noticed this or not, but there is no microwave built in. Yeah. And I think that's kind of interesting. You'd think that they would have utilized one of these cabinet spaces here because look how much it is. Yeah. To have at least a, lot a of microwave cabinets. built in. So that would have to be something you'd have to do if you bought this house because why would you want to spend all, or you no, know, not spend, I say spend, but why would you want to take up? Precious counter space. Counter space. There I go. <laughs> Put that on the bloopers. Yeah. But, but pre precious counter space. Yes, there you go. With a microwave. <laughs> with the microwave, yes. And they've kind of taken away the wall space with the, you know, you can't really mount a microwave anywhere because you've got the windows and you've got the shelves. So And, and that hood is not made to put a over the sink, over the, over the stove microwave. So you'd have to either put it in in a location on I would I would probably get a small one and tuck it away in this corner or, like or even in that corner. Honestly guys, Paul and I bought a really expensive refrigerator that's uh, top and or not a top and yeah, top and yeah, bottom. top and bottom um French door. French door on the top and the drawers on the and bottom. And we hate it because there's not enough storage space in the freezer um, freezer yep. yeah and look at what you get in these side by sides that's just so much better mm. and it's a lot wider than like the old side by sides were even even more narrow here and give you more space on this side but now they're thinking hmm, maybe we should put more space on this side so now i'm thinking the next house we're going to go back to the side by side, the side, by side. look they make this kind of look like a french door ish so that's nice right i wonder if that door opens separately it doesn't it but it hmm. it looks like it though they made it look like a french door i like that i like the space there because him and i we eat a lot of uh you know probably unhealthy things frozen <laughs> dinners frozen dinners and things not saying that i'm not a good cook or he's not a good cook but we just sometimes don't have time so all right, well, that's it right now. While it uh, lasts, the uh, Sweet Home Alabama, uh, Jayco Homes, just north of Montgomery, Alabama, uh, off of two, right on US 231. And if you're interested in it, you live in this area, check them out. We're going to go look at another home or two that they have.